Hello everyone, my name is Vox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. This is only going to be part one, and I'm still missing the GPU drivers. So this is just a, how to get it into a state to boot into Windows. Now, I'm not going to be covering how to create a Windows 10 media creation disk. I will have that in the description field below, which you can go and look at. When you get a USB stick that has Windows 10 on it, you're going to want to hold the volume up button and the three dots. It's called the QAM or the quick access menu button. You're going to hold those down and press power. Keep holding those for another few seconds and then let go. What's nice here is that the D-pad can just move around like you think it would. So left and right will work. A is enter and B is escape. So you're going to want to go ahead and take a look at the boot disk that you just created. Find the USB stick that you got. Press A on it. At that point, it will start loading the Windows 10 boot image. Now, because the Steam Deck has a portrait based display, that is, it is 800 by 1280, it is actually going to be vertically centered. So you're going to have to pivot your Steam Deck vertically to start the install process. What's nice here is that the Steam trackpad does operate as a mouse in this particular configuration and R2 will act as left click. So you'll be able to just use the trackpad and use R2 to mouse around, which is very nice. Additionally, the touchpad, the touchscreen works. So you'll be able to enter in any keyboard commands by just touching any text fields. In this particular instance, I selected I don't have a product key at this time just because I wanted to choose which version of Windows 10 I wanted. In this particular instance, I wanted Windows 10 Pro. You go ahead and click Next. At that point, you can say I accept the license terms and click Next here. Now, in this particular situation, we're going to go ahead and click Custom. Again, this is just part one, so we're going to cover just blasting out the Steam OS install and erasing everything. So we're going to go ahead and delete every partition here. And I'll go through this one by one. And then you're just going to click next after this is done. When you do that, it'll start installing and then it'll reboot into the screen where it's getting things ready. Now from here, you're going to have the standard screen that you'll have when normally installing Windows. The good news here is that the touchscreen does work as well as the touchpad, so you can mouse around. Now I have the drivers for the Wi-Fi in this and I have included it. There will be a link in the description field below where you can install that and you can install it using double driver and I'll show you how that's done at the end of this particular video. So for right now, just go ahead and skip that you don't have internet right now and you just want to keep going forward. At this point, you can do whatever option you want to do here, set it up as you wish either for personal or you want to join it to an organization. Now, what is nice here is the touchscreen is already working. So if you just touch on a text field, it will automatically pull up the virtual keyboard and you can go ahead and enter anything that you want to enter. At this point, Windows will go ahead and install. Now, again, you can mouse around. The screen is still going to be portrait style. So you're going to use the L2 key to hit the right click button on the desktop, at which point you'll go to, to display settings and then you can go ahead and change the screen from portrait to landscape. Now I've opted to change the scaling from 125% to 100%, but that's just a personal option. You can keep it the same there. So right here where it says portrait, you're going to go ahead and click landscape. Okay, so in this instance, you will have downloaded my double driver backup here. And inside this pack, you'll see the Jupyter file right here. You're going to see all the drivers that I've already pulled from my particular system. Now, I do recommend getting Double Driver 4.10 from, uh, well, in my particular instance, I'm getting it from Major Geeks. So go ahead and download this. So from here, you're going to want to open up Double Driver and elevate it with Administrator. So again, you're going to right click using L2. You're going to say Run as Administrator, and this is how we'll elevate. Now, at this point, the mouse might not work, so you'll have to use the touchscreen. From here, you're going to go ahead and click Restore. and locate backup. Now you're gonna to wanna to choose other location and obviously you're gonna to wanna to go to your downloads directory which is where you would have downloaded what I provided for you guys. You go ahead and just click on the parent folder right there, click okay and click okay. And now it's gonna show you all of the drivers that we'll go ahead and install. And then you can just say restore now. At that point, it is gonna start restoring all the drivers that aren't on your system and make everything work, including making Wi-Fi work, which you might have a problem getting to. But it's gonna go ahead and install everything so even though I've gone ahead and installed a bunch of games on the Xbox app and Game Pass, and I've gone ahead and linked those to Steam already so that they'll be playable over here, that's going to be for another video. But again, I have to wait for the GPU drivers. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is how to get Windows installed on your Steam Deck and how to get it into a working configuration minus the GPU drivers. Again, look in the description field below when those become available so you'll be able to download and install them on that. That's going to be a part one of how to install Windows on your Steam Deck, as always, guys. Thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.